Hey guys, it's Steve with TCS Rockets. We're doing another toy review today. Um, so I did a video for the Black Widow Wave from Marvel Legends, which just came out. So I've gone through the figures themselves. Today we're gonna go through the Build-A-Figure himself. So I've taken all the parts out, got them laid out. We're gonna build them, put them together. And then we'll talk about how they did, what they did, what I think about the figure. But we're gonna go ahead and put them together right now. We'll take a look and see what they did. So I was pretty excited to see this again. I'm getting excited the fact that they're kind of digging back into the comic books a little bit for some of their inspiration. I don't object to the movie stuff. I do enjoy them. I've enjoyed most of the movies. Um, obviously, I'd have favorites and not, not as much on something else. So that's a debate for another time. Uh, we're not going to get into the debate of what I like and don't like about the movies. But um, I do like the fact that the Marvel Legends themselves has been going down the road a little bit more of trying to give us some of the comic book guys. And I think that that's important because I think a lot of guys have been doing dioramas. They're doing customizing. And I think when you see a guy sit there and he customizes to get to a figure that he really wanted, I think that should tell Hasbro that that's a figure you should have made. And I see it a lot that the guys that are doing customs are doing a lot of the same customs. And that really tells me that there's figures out there that we're just not getting that we should be getting and we're not. And I think that's a little disappointing at the end of the day that, it, you know, maybe they should have a guy that's trolling all of you guys, that's looking at your stuff, that's sick what you're customizing, what you're talking about. And maybe they should be using that as their inspiration when they go to make their, their next toy lines or what figures they're picking. Because I think if they would do that, they'd find that people have a lot of other choices that they really want to go with that aren't being talked about right now. But we'll, you know, we'll leave that to them right now. I don't think it should be theirs entirely. I think they should ask you guys. But I think it'd be interesting to see if they actually do have a guy that's out there on the internet that's looking at all your guys' customizing work and looking at everything you guys are doing to try to get their inspiration for their next figures. That'd be kind of a cool thought to think that, that's, that they actually cared that much to do that. So... I'm having a little trouble with the back part. Same thing, I think when these come out of molds, then everything wants to click in exactly the way you really want it to click in. So it's not going in everything quite as easy as you want it to go into. Um, overall, I still think it's still doing a good job. I just think that we're not getting quite the connection that we want with the plastics. But when you have injections, molds, and things, it doesn't always want to click in right away. Um, probably also helps if I put the uh, shields on the shoulders the right direction. They're probably going a little bit better. I had them going the wrong way, but we got it now. We're almost done. Um, I don't know what you guys think about the Crimson Dynamo as being the guy that's, that they did this time. We've seen Iron Monger. We've seen a couple of the other ones that's come out. And I'll be honest, I really didn't like Iron Monger. I thought it wasn't a very good figure. It kind of just felt like you made another Iron Man. You really didn't give us something new. This guy actually feels cool. He actually feels like he's somebody completely different. And I think that that's definitely a plus to the collecting phase is to get something that's a little bit different. Uh, like I said, he kind of reminds me a lot more from the comic book. Um, you know, we'll see when the movie comes, what's going to happen with that. But I think the fact that we saw just a real disappointment in the Iron Monger. I really felt like the Iron Monger kind of cheated us. You might as well put him as a figure in the thing and given it to him that way and given us a better Build-A-Figure. But we all know they've kind of had their ups and downs through times where we don't get great Build-A-Figures. I definitely think this is a better one. One of the things I look for now when I actually open these up, I'm looking for the weight of the plastic. I think the funny thing is, is that everyone doesn't realize that we are always dealing with a toy company. Plastic costs money. That's why we're never gonna see a giant apocalypse or giant man ever again. It's gonna to cost too much in plastic. So for them dollar wise, it doesn't make sense to do that. But I do feel like they could not cheap so much that we feel like we got a flimsy action figure when we open it up, especially when we get to build a figure. That should be that cool figure. You've had to build them. You've had to get all these guys in order to do that. So when you spend the money, you get all the guys, you build them, you should feel like you got a pretty solid figure. This guy definitely feels that. I definitely have some weight to him. I think that that's definitely a solid thing. The sculpting is definitely done well. What I thought was really cool is just this little green, little, you know, translucent little arm. It looks like little energy he's kind of got on his, on his wrists. That definitely highlights those. It's kind of cool. He's got a fist ready to pound and smash some holes and something. But he definitely looks something, I don't know, what do you think, a little bit out of the 60s and the little robot era. It definitely reminds me of that a little bit. So I think that's pretty cool. But I am happy about the fact that he definitely weighs a little bit. I definitely think that that's a way that you should be looking at it. And I get, I get that you're trying to save the money. But sometimes, let's spend a little money, give the guy something. The kids are buying toys, and that's great. Okay, I would love to see every kid playing with toys. I think that's awesome. 
But let's be honest, guys, you're watching this because you're collectors like me. I've got a geek shop because I love the toys. You love them as well. So they need to look at us as part of their inspiration at the same time. Don't give us something we're going to be disappointed about. What are we going to do? We're going to go blast about it. We're going to talk about how horrible it is. So give us some good things. I definitely think this is a notch in their belt in the right way. I think they did a solid job. He feels good. I definitely like, now that I put the shoulders on correctly and everything put in the right way, I definitely think he looks pretty cool. It literally really does remind me of a 60s robot thing. So I think that that's pretty cool. I'm enjoying them. I think you guys would as well. Definitely check out the wave. Definitely check out the movie. Love having you guys check us out on our channel. Thanks. Check us out at tcsrockets.com. Thanks, guys. Take care.